In this video we're going to look at how to set up a merchandise machine with a merchandise S-Box controller. So this is a, st a standard A3 machine. Uh, it's not a finished product. It's a machine that we use for testing, uh, cutting customer samples and letting customers have a play. As you can see, each axis has a corresponding motor. So we have the Y, and that controls the machine uh, away from us and towards us as we stand. We then have the X, which controls uh, left to right motion. And there is the Z motor, which controls the up and down motion. Each of the motors have a cable leading from them which we bring down into the S-Box controller. As you can see, there is the Z port for the Z motor, the Y port for the Y motor, and the X port for the X motor. All of these are on a 4-pin plug. You just Two other ports we need are the input signals, which control the home switches and the emergency stop, and the spindle control, which in this case turns on and off the crest spindle we have attached to the machine. This is the PC parallel port, and you run the parallel cable from here to your PC. This is the complete setup of the controller. We have each of the axes plugged in. We have the cable controlling the home switches and e-stop plugged into the middle port. The cable from the Cress milling spindle and the PC parallel port which runs to your PC. And here's a standard 3 pin kettle lead to a 240 volt supply. As you may have noticed, this machine already has home switches attached. The home switches are used for homing the machine and activating the soft limit to ensure the machine cannot crash. Here is the home switch for the Z-axis. As you can see, it's activated by this screw coming within 2mm of the home switch. Here is the home switch for the X-axis and it is activated by this screw. And the home switch for the Y axis is located at the back of the machine, underneath, and is activated by a screw which is attached and moves with the Y axis. In a further video, we will go on to look at how to install home switches and configure the settings inside Mac. The actual location of the home switches uh, is not particularly important. It's the setting up inside Mac to ensure that each home switch corresponds to the relevant axis. For machines that have a fourth axis or are running two motors on one axis, then on the controller is the A port, which in this case has been blanked out. Um, and this is where you attach the additional motor either for the fourth axis or if you're running a dual motor axis. You then need to configure the settings inside Mac 3 which we will cover in a later video.